I get a lot of people asking me how we were blessed to walk away from corporate America in our early 30s. Well, listen, I don't want to keep that a secret. I want to share it with the world. And so maybe you're listening to this podcast and you're trying to figure out how do I even get started on my journey of entrepreneurship and getting to a level of freedom? Well, text the word freedom to 737-777-9909. Enter your information in. And we look forward to sharing some information with you, a proven system with smart overhead, right? That you can do part-time spare time right from the comfort of your home and have amazing mentors, coaches, and a community of entrepreneurs who are willing to support you and help you on your journey to freedom. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales. Have you ever felt stuck? Have you ever felt like there's got to be more to life than the reality that you see every day? Tune in weekly, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays as we crack the codes to freedom in every area of your life. Welcome to Code Freedom. This is your host, Eddie Bales, and this is episode 206. And today I'm going to talk to you about the real reason that we want freedom. Yes, I know we want freedom because freedom is sexy and uh, freedom is fun. It's cool to be able to do what you want, when you want, and how you want to do it, to have the money that you want, and to have the time freedom. All of that is great. But I believe that there's something that goes even deeper than that, something that um, I believe everything is connected to, and that is love. See, I was fortunate to... um, you know, attend a, a wedding this weekend with some friend of ours, and uh, we have another wedding next weekend. So it's wedding month for us. Uh, but uh, you know, it just got me thinking, and and I just thought I'd share it with you all. But I just believe that everything, in some way or capacity, is connected to love. Like, think about it. Um, you know, we all get up and we work hard and we 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 bust our butt. We 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 do all the things we do. Yes, we have bills to pay and we got live to run because you know the world is you got to have money to do things in the world uh but i i believe that in some capacity it still often back to love you know we're working so that we can provide for our family so that we can do things for your children so that you can uh you know take your spouse on nice dates or travel and go to nice places or buy nice gifts uh you know things like that so i just again i just believe that in some way or some capacity, it all goes back to love. And uh, once you understand that, I think it's important for us to really like think about how we love people. Because the more love you give, the more love you'll receive. And, you know, even tomorrow, as you're listening to this podcast episode, I want you to do something for me. I want you to show someone love. And I don't want you to tell them. I want you to show them. I want you, because love is a verb. Love is not a noun. Love is an action word. Um, it's a, Love is a decision. You know, you, you decide that you're going to do this. And you're going to be committed. Um, if you really think about the Ten Commandments, everything, all ten of the, the Ten Commandments in some way, um, can be solved. Like, for instance, you, you will not commit uh, a, a sin against these commandments if love is at the forefront. A uh, matter of fact, you know, the, the, the scripture says um, in Matthew 22, verses 34 through 40, I won't read the whole thing, but I'm going to just read part of it. It says, Jesus said unto them, uh, unto him, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, uh, and with all thy mind, this is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law of the prophets. And so that's basically, in a nutshell, what I was just saying is that I just believe love really fulfills everything. Because, I mean, think about it. If you have love in your heart, you don't want to kill anybody. If you have love in your heart, you don't want to commit adultery. If you have love in your heart, um, you know, you're not going to covet your neighbor, right? So if, if you have that overflowing of love, and if you and, and the way to do that, I believe, is to just think about the love that God has for us. I mean, think about it. I mean, we are all jacked up people. We mess up all the time. I think about the, the Israelites and how they just kept 
messing up and messing up and messing up and God would forgive them and then give them another chance and then they'd mess up and then God would forgive them again. Of course, he would punish them, right? Because, hey, punishment has to go in there somewhere. Uh, but he would always, always, always give them another chance. And I just think that's so, so powerful, folks. Um, and so, you know, if you look at the other scripture um, in First Corinthians, you know, 13, 4 through 8, it says love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. I just think that's such a powerful thing because we all know people who are proud. We all know people who are self-seeking. We all know people who are so easily angered. And if we could just get an influx, an overflowing of love in our heart, then what could we not do? Right? How? What, what kind of lifestyle could we have? A, a life of true freedom, right? Because yes, the passive income greater than the expenses, and having great health, and having. But but I just believe part of having great health is having a overflowing of love, because we all know that this disease is this ease in the body. So if we have a lot of anger and, and 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 resentment and we're not forgiving i mean we're not forgiving people of things that they've done to us those things start to show in our health whether we believe it or not whether we understand it or not this ease is disease disease is this ease in your body it's showing forth from the inside into the outside um and showing forth um, as a as, as a physical thing, but really, every episode we talk about stretching ourselves and growing ourselves and becoming better. And I get it; you're busy, you're on the go, you don't always have time to stop and maybe read a book. Well, listen, I got the perfect thing for you. You're probably familiar with Audible. Audible is an audio book service from Amazon, and they offer the world's biggest selection of books. I'm talking any book that I've recommended, and I've recommended a lot. You can get that book, and you can listen to it on the go while you're in the car. Why not turn your car into Drive Time University? Uh, and for just for listening to this podcast, you can get your first 30 days free on us. So go to audibletrial.com forward slash code freedom. That's audibletrial.com forward slash code freedom and we'll also put that in the show notes it started off more as a spiritual thing because you haven't forgiven this person for years and years and years and years and so now everything that you do is not being forgiven simply because you haven't forgiven right so that's not even my message today in terms of forgiveness we'll probably have to do that on another episode but uh, the main thing I'm just saying is that if we really think about it, everything we do stems from love. Like we want to travel, yes, but we want to travel with our family and, or, or friends or our spouse because we want to be able to see the world and ha have experiences and memories with those that we love, right? Um, we want to do the best for our kids because we love them and we want to show them we love them by being a great example, the great providers, great uh, great everything. So love is a powerful thing. Love is an important thing. And I want us to not forget how important love is in our everyday lives, how important love p plays in the factor as it relates to freedom, because you really can't be free unless you have this love. Because yes, you can have a ton of money and you could have the freedom and the time to do things. But man, I'm telling you, if you're a jerk <laughs> and you don't have this overflowing of love, trust me, you're going to have a whole lot of enemies. You're going to be looking over your shoulder. You, you're going to have a whole, but but if you're the type of person, now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that if you have this overflowing of love that you won't have any problems, you won't have any challenges. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that you have a, a 2.0 version of the life. You have a much better version of life when love is at the forefront when love is and peace and love and joy and happiness is in the front of your mind it's 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 just it's the spirit of god it's it's attractive it's it's uh it it, it conquers everything you know there's so much i can say on it that i can't even really think of everything to say because 
It's that powerful, guys. And so, uh, again, back to what I was saying, I want you to do it today. Like, I want you to get the person in your mind, and I want you to share. I'm going to do it, too. Matter of fact, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to talk about it on the next episode. How about that? So listen in to this podcast, but also listen into the next podcast so you can hear. I'm even going to make a note to myself so I don't forget. And I want you to do the same thing. But no matter what time you're listening to this, I want you to show someone that you love them. I want you to, it could be something, a great gesture. It doesn't have to be grandiose, but like, what if you mailed something to somebody unexpected? Uh, something of sentimental value or just a nice gift or just whatever. Like, I mean, think about that. We we get all kind of bills in the mail and all kind of other stuff in the mail, but how often do you get something that is like, oh my God, this is from so-and-so. And, and then you open it up and you just get a smile because like, wow, this is so nice. And it, I want you to be that for someone tomorrow. And I want you to just really set it in your mind that, okay, yes, Thanksgiving is next month, but we're going to be thankful every single day. We're going to be grateful and we're going to show people that love and that gratitude uh, that we have this overflowing of really the spirit of God. Because that's what it is, right? We are all spiritual beings and we are created in his image and God is love. So if God is love, we need to be love and we need to display it and show it on a regular basis. That means we shouldn't be easily angered. Uh, And don't get me wrong, we're human. So will we be angry? Yes. But if we're working on it and if we're thinking about it, look, we don't delight in evil. We rejoice in the truth. We will protect. We will trust. We will um, we will persevere. And when things go bananas and haywire and crazy, we're going to think about love more than anything else. And we are going to show it and display it in a way and watch it come back to you. Watch, watch what happens when you have this overflowing of love for, for, and compassion, compassion for everyone. And you, you think about the father's love and you, 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 you seek to emulate his love with those who are around you. Now, again, like I said, we're not perfect human beings. We all have feelings and we have emotions. And we'll talk more about that, too, because I believe that you can have a thought and then there's a certain time frame before it turns into a emotion or a feeling. And so if we get the thought, we can um, identify the thoughts that trigger us and then stop it before it turns into a true feeling or a true emotion that could take us in the wrong direction. We've talked about this a few times, several times on the podcast. So listen to some of the other episodes as it relates to that. But look, the real reason that we want freedom is love. Look, we want to we wanna do the best we can for our spouses or for our family. We want to do the best we can in our community. We want to do the best we can to show people that we love. And that's the key. So appreciate you guys for listening to this episode. Hope you got some value. And I can't wait to see you on the next one. God bless. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys for listening. Um, Definitely feel free to take a screenshot of this episode. Tag me in it on Instagram uh, or Facebook or wherever you find me on social media. I would love to give you a shout out. Hey, you might even get a prize. Who knows? But uh, excited that you had a chance to take a listen. I hope you got a lot of value. And uh, definitely feel free to uh, give us five stars as well as a review. Uh, Show us some love and we appreciate you. God bless you all and see you all over the top.